Hey folks, this is Beano Black. Okay, we did catch our first sun in the supergiants down there in Antarctica. That red dot, if you go to the Atka Bay, you will see that the idea that it was daylight, folks, and then the first sun in the supergiants came up. Our second sun, well, there's 200 dub suns over there in the supergiants, or 100 brightest, and they're 4 to 70 times the size of the sun. They're hell far away and everything's hunky-dory. It's just the sun's up there in the Big Bang and we are in the clock. Now we're going to go fast forward here real fast and get us up to what we got for pictures. And I'm going to show you something real fast. That was my disclaimer. There's Nibiru. Let me show you what a fake picture looks like, okay? Digital, when you superimpose something, there. Someone tried to put a flying saucer on a Russian video, okay? Here we go. Nibiru, it's out there. Elenin's out there. Elenin's hella big, folks. We're going to flash through some pictures here. I'm going to be able to show you where people screw up, okay? I believe that Venus, if I'm right and correct, is way hella bigger than Jupiter. I mean, uh, Venus is hella smaller than Jupiter. So, so you got to watch people when they put their paws on something, okay? When the planets uh, rise and fall, we get a very good view out there in space, okay? We got comments, okay? Uh, there's a video out of New York, the guy caught, and it's just beautiful, okay? It's got uh, a lot of truth. That's why we got our disclaimer here. And we're going to get down to where I have went ahead and researched, and we'll have another video this afternoon. Uh, we do have proof of the idea that the tetrahydrons caused the uh, Vancouver and Auckland that was the video that I was making before I reported the 7.3 that was in, uh, I believe it was, yeah, I made a mistake when I said it. I said it was uh, New Zealand, and then it turned around it was Fiji that it was end up reporting, okay? But this is the Vancouver that I was recording before in Auckland, New Zealand, and we're just going to sh show you the tetrahydrin. And also we got proof on here, the meteor that was over top of Atka Island, okay? And there is the latitude and longitude. Now in the future, when I throw you some deals, I put a latitude and longitude in that was close enough that's over to Antarctic that you're going to be able to see. And I got to speed through some shots here. So the idea, you get a hold of us at Beano Black channel on YouTube. And we got Beano Black's dot web dot com for the Super Giants main. Okay, so I'm going through a bunch of them. I'll have a video here later about the Super Giants' data. There's a bunch of data to show you on the Super Giants. There's one of the Super Giants. We'll get a picture up here. It's the, it's the big winged, uh, you know, ray that you end up seeing in the uh, sky. Because when you see all the Super Giants way late at night, they're so far away, that you will end up getting the bat wing of the super giants. There's locations and stuff that I put in here just to pick up the things where we're going around the earth. So let me flash and now we got the super giants there. So that is the wing that everybody keeps on showing the pictures of. It's real, it's out there, it's the super giants. So late at night sometimes when an astronomer takes a shot or something like that, they get all that pattern together of all those stars that are up to 70 times the size of the sun, folks. That's humongous. Jupiter's smaller than the sun. Tons of stuff is smaller than the sun, and there's tons of supergiants that are hella big from four times to 70 times the size of the sun. Even 1.18 or something like that size of the sun. Okay? Look at Pateglius, and I might say names wrong, and Terrace, and then we go to even Rigel, which is humongous, and look how tiny it is next to Pataglius, okay? The supergiants. Now they're way far away, but we get light and we are in the Big Bang scenario of the supergiants because the sun has been in the supergiants. Now there is down in uh, Attica where we got the video, and I gotta watch time here folks, we're going five minutes, where I ended up finding that the idea that the tetrahydrons are coming over and flashing in the mirror is the Antarctic, okay? And then we got the dark period down there right now. We're lucky that we have enough dark period that we end up seeing 
These are all the super giants before in the other video. I'll flash forward and then here's some more of the super giants on the bottom of the South Pole when that uh, quake in Vancouver happened and so forth and so on, okay? The super giants are behind us in the, the heat on the last video with I showing the objects up by the sun. There's a tetrahydrin that we caught down there, Attica. Attica Bay at the research. Okay, now we flash forward. We got graphs of the quake upticks like crazy through the years. Super giants are heavy on the bottom of the Antarctic. There's some super giants. Flash through real fast. Trying to get to the pictures that we want to show you that we've got on. Now there is, folks, I will be able to show you a missile that has blown up before in space that NASA's got and it's public and it's on the deal. Now that is an asteroid, folks. A comet ends up ending our atmosphere and ends up breaking up in, as an asteroid. Okay? Comet meteor asteroid, folks. Okay? Those pictures are at the site. Okay? There's also, I think I've got one or two of the graphs of the uh, meteorite that ended up falling to the ground. Okay? Comet meteor asteroids. All the same dog, it's just the sizes and the breakup and hitting the earth. Okay, so when we got darkness down in Antarctica, we just have darkness there. It's the ceiling fan that screwed up the shot a long time ago. Okay, so when we got darkness down at Antarctica, we got darkness. And then when you see the light, and then you see the other spots come up, the red and the dot coming across. Now, they may have it superimposed, but I do believe that that's the mass on the uh, meteorite or comet that's coming around there. Okay? And the time matches for the graph of the meteors that hit the ground. So it might still be rotating around the Earth. i got to try to get up onto the uh, meteorite. Uh, I've got like maybe a two-week delay. Of, I lost my account. And they're going to let me back in to be able to show you some of that stuff. Okay, so that is not the ceiling fan. That is what's coming in. Because it is daylight down there, folks. Tetrahydrin, meteorite, common, it doesn't matter. It's coming in and there it is. Okay, let me go one ahead, there it is without my writing on there, and there it is, and then it comes out of the camera shot right there, and that is at, at Bay, folks, and it's daylight, so the sun's already up, so that's what you're seeing is the activity. Okay, now we'll go fast forward and get into, there was Alan and folks, I found it on the second. Okay, that's the ninth down there, but I actually have a picture in here that'll show you the second. These pictures lately with the big mass of the super giants it's up by the sun this is showing you there's the, here's a drawing that you need to look at earth is front this is stereo behind okay they might in the future start flopping the lenses in so the idea you don't know if it's a stereo behind or stereo in front okay there's giant debris around the sun okay that picture is in, in uh, my photo gallery at super giants okay that was taken from stereo behind Core 2 on the 17th, and we also got the green one with the green lens is also from behind, and I think I misquoted the idea that it was in front. Okay, so you got the 3, the three o'clock hour GMT to zero up there, it's dark. Okay, so all those spots, those are the super giants, folks. Now, there's the super giants, that's the wing that you see in the sky. Okay. I'm going to get up to the idea that we have got the bullshit figured out and then the idea that there is the sun in the supergiants, folks. Okay, It is in the supergiant sequence. It's been there for a while. I'm going to get it down to exactly how long it's been in the supergiants. Now, 70 times the size of the sun. Okay, The supergiants go to ground, folks. The tetrahydrons come in and they go to ground. From tetrahydrons, we get electrical magna, Positive, negative, low voltage DC, high voltage when it makes impact to the ground with the R electrical. Okay? Get more into, and, and then me stating it wrong and so forth, but it's coming from the supergiant's main sequence and other stars and planets in the universe are mirrors and bounce off and put the electrical energy to ground and we get, and Rigo is a big, with Particulius, is a big contributor. Also, there is the comet, or the whatever you want to call it, coming in the sun. I believe that is the first sun in the supergiants that we are seeing down in Attica. Okay, then you had the other video I just did recently that's got Nibiru in there. 
It's got the material up on the super giants. By the sun. Got rid of the glare, here we go. We're gonna get through these pictures real fast. Okay. So 2007 TD is gonna come real close. I got the da the, the time and the daddy in there for when that's gonna be coming in. Okay, this is the guy's pictures, okay? He got a hold of, and he's, he's got two of the comments, and I have a list, we'll show it in the next video, get a little bit more into it, because I got telescope, and I got some pictures I'll show you here real fast. Now, here's a drawing I started working on last night, okay? That's not Venus that you'll see down there below there, but as he moves, you will see the angle change a little bit that he's going in the road, and you will see Venus very high and far back, and Venus is humongous, okay? Okay, I believe it's Lexel as a, as a comet that we got rising there, and also uh, ha uh, Halley. Halley should have been higher, and Lexel should have been uh, 1777 L1 Lexel and 1P Halley. Okay, it was more than likely the comments that we had. It was just the idea that everything in the, it was in the sky and the sun and the shade and the glow ended up being able to show, because that, folks, below the sun is not that is not Jupiter it is not Venus now it could be Jupiter way far back Venus I'll work on that but let's go real fast because I can show you on the telescope that we worked on that the idea that his shot that is not Jupiter that is not Venus folks because when you go to telescope it'll tell you the lies of the heights and locations and we're going to get that in the next video you can see where the sun's been bouncing in and rolling into some of the supergiant material. Now we got that up there, I got the New Jersey, got the sunrises on September 12th, 6.38. So the data and everything will come through. It's going to show you that the idea that there is a big footprint of things bouncing into the sun. Okay, when it cools off in certain spots and you get those big dark shaded areas, that's from bumping and rolling into stuff that's in the supergiants, folks, and comets. So we're not just getting flare. And there's a lot of video and pictures that we don't get. I'm not going to name who it is because we know that they wouldn't lie to us. Okay, 12 minutes, moving fast here. Here we come. There is Venus down there. At the time, that the idea that he more than likely took it. I'm going to get the exact time, but see, he can't lie either because the idea that you can get it down to the Nats' ass of where something's at. Okay? In Virgo, there's a lot of stuff that was around there. It was pretty crowded, okay? That Javi Java. Java Java. Java Java. It's got 57757, I think, is the number. Okay? They have it listed as a star. We'll see. They've been changing the names on so many uh, objects that are up there. Now, there it is. A-L-A-R-A-F. A-L-A-R-A-P-H. Sorry, folks. A-L-A-R-A-P-H. That is one of the... That is the sun that we are probably seeing, more than likely, down. So Venus was too far left. As you can see, the idea that the little blue spot below Venus, more than likely, I'm correct on the idea that what object it is. And it's probably Alifra. Okay? Because Alifra is in the supergiants. Okay? And as you've seen the sun before, with that alpha shot, we also have a shot here in a minute. There it is. The super giants. Okay, it shows sun there. And Alifra is pretty much behind the sun, folks. It's one of the first suns in the super giants that's close to the sun right now. And I'm going to figure out what smaller sun that we have possibly out in front of the sun. But I believe Alifra is probably the first one truly honest that was another deal that was up there now I'm going to go a little bit into the idea that we'll just keep on the idea that I'm looking around at the area and the time Venus was too far up and to the left okay so we got materials of the super giants either that or that's the virgin plane by the space sh uh, station that they got up there that was caught on film so there's no UFOs folks the objects are up there you can blow up the pictures that you get a hold of this, this natural cloud filtered it through pretty good, so the idea that you can see the X planet, the reddish one, I believe that's either uh, Jupiter up there or Venus, and then we also uh, get to be able to see 
the idea that Al Alifra, I mean not Alifra, but the idea that uh, one of the dead planets in the supergiants in the front that we're going to end up figuring out which star it's just we need to know the truth folks there's a famous picture of uh, the big incident alright 